Hey guys, this is Nikon5, and I'm going to be resuming my playthrough of Hollow Knight in save file 3, which I completely forgot which one it was and had to go back to my YouTube video to check. I think my controller sounds may still come through this time, but I'm putting it under my desk so it's less anyway. Compass, steady body, spore shroom, is there anything else I would rather use? Yeah, dash master. What, 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 what button is it? What the hell? Why is it? There we go, okay. Something I forgot? What's she selling? One more charm and I can get the next charm. Okay. So I'll come back later. So let me check my inventory. I have got... I've been to Green Path and Fungal Wastes, I've fought the Mantis Lords, I've unlocked Queen's Station, I've gone, I've got the Crystal, not Crystal Dash. Oh, I need to go to the City of Tears right down there. I think it'll be faster to just run over there, not take the Stag Station. That's what I'll do. Alright, why is V-Sync off? You? What? What do you mean? Ooh, medium's fine. I like frame rate caps. Oh, never mind then. Have I saved Sly? Yes, I have. Got him. Now, where am I going? Left. Oh yeah, Dash Master is very nice. I'm definitely, um... I've been thinking of what to do next on this channel, because I'm kind of, you know, it's Hollow Knight, right? But that's not enough. I start thinking, I need another puzzle game. So far on this channel I've done, I expect you to die. This is the wrong way. I expect you to die. Um, Return of the Oprah Din, and then of course the witness, but that's kind of it. Oh, this mother So I think I've got three new game ideas or game series ideas For my next puzzle game series. It's either gonna be this cube escape collection The mist collection which I kind of started but kind of didn't because I didn't have the link cable back then And I might not even play it in VR. I might just get it on flat screen and then what was the last one mist cube escape what wait what was the last one um oh monument valley i think i will do monument valley and then i want to start putting more effort in my thumbnails oh god damn it because for a while i kind of just did nothing for thumbnails Unless it was, um, well, I like the Hollow Knight one I made for the last video. That was a nice one. But, like, I used to fall on going to, like, a rec room, studio room, green screen it, make a nice little thing to accompany the video. I swear to God, I always get hit. So I'm going to start doing that again, I think. I'm going to think I, I might even edit videos. This is a long play. I just want to be able to play Hollow Knight and talk. To, like, this isn't new commentary for me, right? Like, I'm not going to be commentating on the game, I'm just going to be talking, because I've already played this game in its entirety. So long play it is. Same with The Witness. You don't want to cut out those parts. I still believe that the viewers should be able to choose what parts of the game they want to watch or not. Ultra Kill, I've reached, um, I played off video in Ultra Kill, or without recording, and I made it to... I actually got a perfect on all the levels up to P1, so I have unlocked the Minos Prime fight, which I have not been able to beat on my own, so I'm going to record and try again in the future. I've got some video ideas. Friday Night Funkin, I've wa I want to try to make a mod, or just like more mod charts like I did with the... Uh, I didn't do anything with Mayhem. I added skins for Mayhem and made it zoom a bit, that's about it though. Um, someone asked me to do that for playtime, so I'm gonna try to do that for playtime. Ah, uh, this frickin' mushroom guy. You know, just give him a good ol' orange bouncy sprite. I wanna do the backgrounds like, um... 
the Sunday mod though. I really like the way the Sunday mod did it. Just the flashing colors in the back it makes it look a lot more dynamic for a fast part. If I could draw, I swear to god I would be like the best mod creator ever. Oh come on, really? I just don't know how to start, that's another problem. Oh, Elder Who. Oh. I feel like I remember dying to that before. This is where I met Cloth, right? I think that's her name. I always called her Thorn, but I think it's Cloth. She wields a thorn. Isn't there a secret here? Fine. I don't intend on going back to Return of the Oberdin. I feel like I'm kind of done with that. I did the solving episode because I said I wanted to. And I don't want to continue it though. That was just kind of for fun. Oh dear. Pilgrim's Way. Onward to share his glory. Alrighty, let's just go. Oh. The new Shovel Knight game comes out very soon. I'm excited about that. Except I'm not going to record. Actually, it... Oh. Okay. Um, it's coming out to Apple Arcade, which is really cool. I have Apple Arcade. I really like it. I actually really like the games that they release most of the time. From is like some of the classic mobile games they release, I already have, so like not much point. But like for instance, Jetpack Joyride, they just released the sequel. It's all right. I like the endless format more, but they just added it in this mode. But then they also have Jetpack Joyride Plus, which just gives you what before was in-app purchases. You can just get with in-game currency, like the third equipment slot, which is really neat. And like, you know, the exclusive games are good. Exit the Gungeon is really good. People do not give it enough credit at all. Okay, I need the thing to escape. Wait, no, I want to dash down. Yes. Perfect. Oh, these guys. I was gonna say, like, am I supposed to be able to get up there? I was worried I just skipped something. Ah, damn it. Doesn't even matter. I don't remember how to fight these guys. Been a while. God damn it. I think the City of Tears has got to be my least visited place in the game, like on recurring playthroughs, because there's not really a reason to go back once you're done. I don't think you can attack those guys, right? I think that kills you. Badass. I need new games to play that are good, though. I tried to play Control. But, like, I think it was just too graphically intense to record and play. Like, it worked, I'm sure, without recording and using probably metal at the same time, it would have been a lot better. But, like, trying to stream it at max quality is not going to do it any favors. Ow, oh, five hits. I always forget five hits. I want fragile strength back. Oh, okay. Oh, Quirrell. And map. I still need another map, though.
Oh. You have storage. City of Tears. People love this area for some reason. I fucking hate it. Like, people, like, everyone always talks about this being their favorite area. Like, there was a Reddit poll of your favorite areas. This one won. I'm like, no, I like the Mantis Village more. Um, I just find this place... The enemies in here were really hard my first time through. Like, just not being able to hit them. And them just hitting... Well, they just are good at attacking. It's annoying. People love the music for this game as well. Like, I think I noticed, like, the Mantis Tribe fight, and that's about it. And everyone else, like, they love this soundtrack. I'm like, it's fine, I guess. Die. Haha. Uh -huh. Money. Where am I going? I couldn't remember if he jumped or charged. Both, god, okay. I literally do not remember that enemy at all. That's how long it's been. Oh, the shop, right? Yeah. Yeah, give me money. Remember, I didn't use this guy for too long, and then I ended up having to sit through his dumb dialogue every single time I wanted to sell something, and it was so annoying. I'm really not worried about having this much money on me. I just don't die. I'm, uh, I'm recording, right? Yeah, I'm recording. Good. Wait, no, I went this way. Shit. Uh, down here. Oh, wait, money. I actually should be able to buy fragile strength at this rate, couldn't I? Oh, I need the key. That leads me down to, like, the... I think I need the acid thing for that place as well, though. Isma's tear, so I can't quite yet. Oh, yeah, here's the Hornet cutscene. It's weird how this game has, like, one cutscene in the middle of it, and then only cutscenes at the very beginning and end. Why is it so loud? Seek the grave in ash and the mark it would grant to one like you. Oh. Perfect. Okay. Okay, I can't go there. What do I do? I need to find my way into the, um... The Grave of Ashes, uh, the city limits, I think. Nope. Oh. Well, oh. I can swim. Okay. Oh, Nailsmith. I don't have any pale ore, though. I think the first one is without it, though, thankfully. Could be a secret here as well. Ah, Ranjo Stenja. Yep. John Shah. Garadel Akari. 
Alrighty. Hmm. Vendazu. Aylor, yeah, okay. Let's go see this nail. Sharpened nail, okay. So how many hits for this guy? Oh, just one. That's amazing. Okay, perfect. Four this time. Okay, cool. And I need to go get fragile strength now so that I can just tear through him. I could have sworn there was like something up here. I'm not doing that again. You know, I really don't quite remember where I'm really supposed to go. Save, though. Does Quirrell look at me only if I have the map out? Or if I'm just sitting? Oh, he just looks anyway. So I need to find the soul sanctum somewhere. I can't exactly remember where. This is a dense area. I always got lost in this place. I think I need to head back down, don't I? Uh, I don't know. You know, there was that area with the uh, the store guy. I didn't explore it very well, did I? get as much soul from killing them anymore though do I that's unfortunate fucking hell man. yeah thought he was gonna jump immediately Yeah, they're definitely weaker now. Yeah, can I go up here? Oh. No, no, no. Ah. I need to get the elevator back down. Yeah, I definitely, I think this was the way to go up. What? Damn it. So I guess I just got to start at the bottom. Oh god, I thought I had a soul on me. I thought I could attack like that. Damn it. God damn it. It's too strong. Ow. Oh, he's got a spear. Okay. Or a lance or a javelin, whatever you want to call it.
wasn't even protecting anything. He just wanted to kill me. That's so rude. Boom. There we go. Progress. There we go. Alright, let's head back up. Better hit this stupid projectile teleport, guys. Oh, what's up here? Oh, bench. Okay, what's over here, though? Oh, wall. Great. Bravo! A grub. Hello. I think I'm probably. Oh. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, that scared the crap out of me. Oh, there's more. What the fuck is going on? Why did my sound just glitch out? Oh my god. Holy shit, what the fuck is going on? I just closed Discord and it seems to have fixed itself. Okay, I'm gonna head back in. Jeez, that was really weird. Um, okay. Oh, not my fault. Ah, oh, that was odd. Yes, Cornifer. Yeah, take my money. Take my money. Take my money. Bench. Take all. Just take my money. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Man, this place is massive. Static station's up there. Did I miss it? How did I miss it? Whatever, I'll get there eventually. Sure. I need this now. What was down here that I didn't go to? No, 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 no. Oh, this is the boss room. Shit, okay. Um, yeah, I might as well do it now. Oh, the music. What? Oh. Oh. Perfect. What's up here, though? I need to find an ornate key, I think. Ornate. Did I say ornate or ornate? I've always said ornate. Huh. I guess I need the double jump for that. Gimme. Fuck, fuck off, man. I always think I can one-shot those guys, but then I never can. Maybe the charm. Oh. Thought there was one. Fucking Christ, this guy's annoying. Oh, okay, other way. Oh, 
Oh shit. Oh wow, that's a lot of money. Oh god. Oh damn it, he dodged it. God. What what's down here? Oh, just a door. Okay. Normally shortcuts are supposed to be safe, but there's like more enemies in here than there are in the other area. Oh my god, stop teleporting. Oh god. Oh god. I don't think that I've been that close to death before, but I did not enjoy it. And I need more health now. Oh my god. Really, game? Okay. Okay, well, now. Why are there so many of them? Oh. There's the charm. Spell Twister. What does that do? Reduces the soul of casting spells. Okay, are you serious right now? The controller's Bluetooth seems to be spotty, which is not a good sign. Oh, thank God. All right. Fight time. There's the boy, there he is. Time to kick his ass twice. Ah. Man, what a tricky boss. Boy, am I glad it's completely over now. You see, the joke is that it is not over now. Oh, 
There we go. No damage. Thank you. Achievement unlocked. Elimination. Cool. Let's get out of here. Alive. Preferably. Oh, wow. Money. They really want me to buy everything. God, he's fat. Why is he so fast? Colonist seal. Even more money. Jesus. What does this game expect me to buy? All of it. Thank you. <gasps> oh! Wow, wow. Really, game? You're welcome, little buddy. Thank you. And I'm out of here. Where now? I want to head back to Cornifer. That helps. There we go. Yep, that's it. Alright, back I go. I just got the Desolate Dive, which means I can now access that other part of... I think the main thing that I can access is the Crystal Caverns to get the Crystal Dash. But then I can also access that part now in the Fungal Wastes. Or... Is that what it is? Yeah, Fungal Wastes. I can get there now. Oopsie. There's the new map. Let's go get that stag station and then I'll end the video. Actually, wait, how long have I been recording? 34 minutes only? Are you kidding me? I just got through so much that fast? Oh, hi, Zod. Huh. Monster's fault. How many people drown in the lake? Oh god. Oh, there was no reason to do that. 
remember going here before. That's weird. There's the dream tree. Oh my god, you can throw. Oh wow, okay. Wow. The key. That helps a lot. Okay. Wow. Uh, I don't know where exactly I should use this. I don't remember the location that you're supposed to. I think... Well, there was the one down there... And then there's another one up in, um, in Dirtmouth. And it's just to the guy, I think you give rancid eggs to him? Or no, that's for Steel Soul. I don't remember. No, no, you do that in, uh, I need that if I want to revive myself, but I never die, so there's no point. It's up here. The elevator? It is. Oh, yes, please. Perfect. I don't intend to use it. It's weird how I can put the money in and then it's just forever accessible. Like, why would they even be purchasable to use? And yet I'm the only one that's ever purchased it. And then everyone can just use it. Does it know who's walking in the room and then activates before you even get in there? Like, how does it work? See, this is the kind of thing you gotta pay attention to in game design. Otherwise, what are you thinking? Okay, jeez. Yeah. <sighs> Welcome to the City of Tears, Stag. Achievement unlocked connection. Alrighty. Hello. Let's talk to him. Ah, Miss Sword. One sec. Eh. There we go. There was like a hair, so like a cat hair stuck in the battery pack to my controller, and I just noticed it. Alrighty, I can travel somewhere. I think I should. Um, I'm gonna go get... You know what, I'm right there, actually. Yeah, let me just go this way. I'm gonna go buy the Fragile Strength. Don't intend to lose that charm. Haven't so far. It looked like there was an exit on the left side, but it's just a wall. Yeah, there's no way to open that. Alright, but I can go up. Thank you. Whoa, what was that slow run? That was funny. This is one of the extra soul slots, right? Yeah. Do I, uh... Oh, okay. I guess I'll go right and around. And I got a lot of money.
I don't know if I said this in the last video, but I actually got a job recently. I, uh... I turned 16 in August, and the job I wanted, you could only, you had to be 16. A lot of jobs that I wanted, you had to be 16 to work at, instead of, like, a fast food place like McDonald's. So I wanted to work at, like, a local dollar store. And, um, I ended up doing that. And, um, oh my god, my first shift was killer. Well, that's not true. My first shift was okay. It was just a training shift, so I expected it to be, like, maybe three, four hours long just to learn the stuff and then, you know, get ready for my first real shift. But then it was a six hour shift, which was really scary walking in and finding out it was a six hour shift because I didn't know beforehand. At least it wasn't like very early in the morning, it was midday. So that was very nice actually, but still like that was a shock. And then I recently, I had a weekday shift, but problem is it started at three and I go to a school far away from where I live and the drive is like 30 minutes. So I basically got home Went to take a shower, and then that was all the time that I had. I I got home at around 2.40, and then I went and had a shower because I had to look nice for my job. And then, boom. Time to go. So I literally went to school for six hours, and then... What's that sound? Mushroom? Oh! Huh. Sound cues. So I went for my first real shift on a weekday, and it ended up being, I think, six and a half hours long with a lunch break, of course. Oh. Oh, I don't have the Hunter's Journal yet. And the first three hours were fine. It was, like, my first training shift, so it wasn't that bad. I knew what I was doing. I actually, like, the way I learned how to be a cashier was that I would took... I, sh I shadowed someone for like five, seven minutes, and then it was me on my own on the cash register for the rest of the day. That was scary. Um, but it actually, the cash register was really easy because it's all like just digitized now. Like it just tells you exactly what to do. It's very easy, thankfully. But uh, bagging stuff is not very easy. That was definitely the worst part. Uh, thankfully, I've only had one instance where the bag actually ripped though. Like, I think I put something in upside down the wrong way, like a something sharp upside down, and it just, you know, the bag, of course, didn't hold it. Ouch. That was, like, the one main mistake I made. Along with, on the first day, um, there's, like, a $3 deductible, or whatever you call it, where you don't want to be $3 over or under what is supposed to be in the cash register. And I ended up getting over $4 over. So, it was my only my first shift, so I kind of got off easy, but, like, I had to be better for the next shift. You know, that was fine. Anyway, I'm gonna sit here with Leg Eater while I equip my new charm. Oh, god, three slots? Okay. Damn. Actually, I can go buy the thing from Salubra now. Alright, I'm gonna do that before I forget. Wish I could get back there faster. First, I gotta respond to a message real quick. Yeah, and then, so the main problem was, okay, the first three hours, I'm like, all right, that's fine. Customers came through, I scanned, scanned their items, put in bags, sent them on their merry way. All, all well and done. And then, lunch break, I chat with my friend, watched a few bit YouTube videos, you know, just caught up. In the three hours, and you're not allowed to have your phone while you're working, of course, right? Like, that's obvious. I didn't expect to. But, you know. Uh, you know, so just 30 minutes of nice phone time. And then I get back to work, and then I really didn't realize how much longer just three hours could be. I felt like I should have headed home at, like... I think I was there at like 7.30 and I, it was, that's the thing, it was 24 hour time and I'm not good at reading that. So I really, I really thought I was going to go home very soon and then it turned out I still had two hours to go and it was agonizing and my legs still hurt. Okay, I really, I'm really not an athletic person. I like, gym class has been really hard for me this school year. I'm just not athletic. I, I'm not like overweight or, well, no, that's not true. I'm not obese. I'm very, I'm a good size. I'm just not a good weight. And that really affects me in, uh, like, exercising. 
Like, sports are fine, because I play defense. Like, it's actually good that I'm that heavy for defense. But for stuff like push-ups, sit-ups, crunches, no. Not at all. Um, I mean, that, like, when I stand all day, it's, it's a lot. I have to support my own weight. I, I skip leg day, guys. It's not easy. I end up with, um... I ended up with really sore legs, and then my feet, my foot is still hurting. God, no, it was... And then I went to gym class the next day, of course, and it was torture. <laughs> my knees were in so much pain, I could barely do anything. But I got through it, and it's still hurting, but it's about to hit the weekend, and I'm going away with a nice trip with my dad, and it's going to be awesome. I still got to prepare an overnight bag. It's all going to be good. I do need a bath tonight, though, just to... Relief. Relieve my legs. Now let's go buy a charm shop from... Charm slot from... What is she, by the way? Is she a slug? I think she's a slug. I really don't like the sounds she makes, though. So I'm literally gonna end this video in the same spot I ended the first video. Only this one is, what, 45 minutes long? And the last one was double that. Probably better I start making shorter videos. I could even edit this one if I want. No, I can't edit. I've been talking too much. Alright, perfect charm setup. I just got the new ability that lets me go other play. Look at this giant map. I am doing well for myself. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me ramble for this long. Um, I might be coming out with a new puzzle game series in the future, so stay tuned. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment too. Please. I'm sorry.